how to throw a frisbee. Just there are a couple of components to how to throw a frisbee well. First, grip. To you, whatever is comfortable is your grip. Don't worry about anything else. You want to be able to deliver the frisbee where you want it to go more than anything else. Some people, you know, when they start working on these different grips, whether their finger naturally lays here, goes inside, on the outside, and see where my thumb is. It's right about here. But it could be here. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. So grip nice and easy. During your release, it's going to swing off your fingers. When you go to release it, see what I'm doing here? Nice and flat. And it's going to release, it's going to kind of rotate around my fingertips in my grip. Your grip, it might rotate around your grip where your finger and your thumb are meeting and it'll rotate. But you want it to rotate. Rotation helps the frisbee fly. Throwing arm and shoulder, where you're facing it, where you want to go with your chest facing away. This is just a good sturdy position. As you get more comfortable, you will be doing different poses. I will sometimes be doing this to do quick throws. You know, other times people will turn their back because they're going to throw hard and they're going to help the rotation and speed, blah, blah. Nothing to worry about. So when you throw a frisbee, you're just going to reach out and flick your wrist. So that was a quick 10, 15 feet, very little effort. And I've seen people who aren't huge muscle builders throw things 250 feet, 300, 400 feet. It's all about the technique. So don't worry about muscling. Don't worry about throwing hard. It's about a nice, easy release. Just let it fling off your fingertips and out into the air where you reach. The other trick is aiming while you throw. When two people play Frisbee, you ever notice they're always running back and forth and ah, 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 trying to catch things that aren't thrown to them? Here's a good trick. Pick a piece of a target, a piece of grass, somewhere between you and your target to throw over. Don't throw at the distance far away because the further you try to aim, the more you're going to try. And when you try, you clinch. You grip tighter. When you grip tighter, instead of releasing this way, take tight grip will come off your fingertips and go that way. Or arm and muscles. The muscles in your arm are going to come through. And you may actually be so tight here, you're going to come through and you're going to do this. And then you're going to be throwing, well, it'll be a proper execution, but your body is going to be thrown this way. Nice and easy, right? So then the next phase is, I put a target already on the grass. So the target between me and a tree out there. You just throw over a target. Don't worry about what's down there. As you get better, your throws will go farther on their own. The other thing, now the, the, the school of thought is always throw flat. That's great. I've noticed for me, this is something you can experiment with, I tend to actually lift it just a little bit when I throw that way. Because that, that way I don't have to throw hard. Because this will help the frisbee float. And that's a good disc dog trick. So, shoulder pointing. You want it to rotate off your fingertips. You want to reach towards your target and be relaxed. Don't try too hard and use the target. Look at that. In the disc dog world, that was a two pointer, just throwing it out there.